from the start of the 96 Academy Awards, live from Hollywood tonight. And we, of course, are excited. Yes, we are. Let's check back in with Connor. He's at an Oscars watch party in Falmouth tonight. Connor, we just heard uh, about J Dustin Tucker, who has roles in two of the films nominated for Best Picture tonight. But you have another story of another Mainer who won an Oscar at last year's awards, and it sounds like it's a night he will never forget. Yeah, that's exactly right, Kathleen. Eric Sandin will never forget the 95th Academy Awards. The Mainer won his first Oscar for his visual effects work on Avatar The Way of Water. Now, instead of going to an after party to celebrate the win, he was rushed into emergency surgery where he'd spend the next two weeks. It was uh, horrible timing and really good timing and, and both at the same time. Hours before the Oscars, Eric Sandin's stomach wasn't feeling right. He went to a hospital in Beverly Hills to get checked out. Couldn't figure out what it was, figured it was nerves, figured it was all kinds of stuff. Doctors thought he had kidney stones, so they prescribed the painkiller and Sandin and his wife made their way to the show, making it inside the Dolby Theater just as the doors were closing. And the Oscar goes to Avatar The Way of Water. When it was announced Avatar had won the Oscar, Sandin shared a hug with his wife before heading up on stage. Uh, that. I think sort of just set everything in motion. <laughs> the pain intensified and Sandin knew something was very wrong. It's sort of a blur getting walking up and getting on stage and even getting handed an Oscar. I have no idea who handed it to me. After doing some interviews backstage, Sandin decided to forgo the after parties and told his wife, brother and sister-in-law to go enjoy them while he went back to his hotel room to sleep. On his way back to the room, Sandin decided to revisit the same hospital he went to earlier that day. Doctors found his blood pressure to be extremely low. A scan showed his small intestine had ruptured. That's when a doctor rushed Sandin to Cedar sinai Medical Center to operate. I was in surgery probably within an hour. Looking back on that night, Sandin is thankful. He says he had one of the best surgeons in the world. If I wasn't there at exactly that time, um, it all would have went down here, and who knows what happened. With his work on Avatar 3 nearly complete, he's hoping to find himself back on stage at the Oscars in 2026 and is looking forward to a night where he can feel like the Hollywood star that he is. This is our home! I'm hoping we're, we're going to push the boundaries again and um, um, show the world what we what we're doing and uh, really come out with some great visual effects that uh, help the story and to uh, to really make it all flow together really well. Guys, Sandin said that if Avatar 3 is nominated, win or lose, he's going to bring his for, his old Oscar to Hollywood with him. He said that if you stick the statue out your limo window, you get into the biggest of parties. So there you have it.